On today's lesson, we are going to talk about intermediate move. Good afternoon to all the chess fans that are watching my videos. So let's take a look at the board and see how it goes. So in the first example, as you can see, firstly, we want to eat the rook. But if we eat the rook right now, they will eat our bishop. So to screen as much juice as we can from this example, we go bishop e5, king goes d7, and only now we take the rook. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Let's move on to the next example. In this example, there are two problems. First is that there might be a checkmate next move. And third is that we want to eat this knight. So to solve the first problem, we go h3, attacking the king. So the king has to go, for example, uh, b8. And only now we take the knight. Let's move on to the next example. In this example, if we take the knight now, the black pawn will eat our pawn on c4, and this will be a little problem. So what we do is check on b5, king goes d5, and only now do we take the knight. Uh, this example looks a little harder, but not to worry. This isn't much harder. We, of course, want to eat the queen. But let's squeeze out as much juice as we can. We go e7, attacking the king and attacking the rook. So the king has to go h8. And only now do we take the queen on d2. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Alex Gajewski, and I'll hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.